Hey guys, so look what I found today. There is actually a corfish nest. Now, corfish is actually quite rare, so for me, I actually find a nest of it. It's quite nice. But to answer the question of today's topic, maybe, just maybe. But I think you have to wait until Niantic release all of the uh, Gen 3 Pokemon first, then only it will release the final stage Pokemon in the wild. But that is the short answer. Alright, bye. But if you're here for the long answer, I think maybe you have to wait for another month or so before they release everything because actually there's still a few more Pokemon that's not released for Gen 3 yet. But I don't know, are these more like the like the Smeargle or the Delibird of Gen 2, right? Where you have to wait like one year before it release. But who knows, right? But for the final stage Pokemon for Gen 3, right? Like the Blaziken, uh, Swampert, you know, all those Metagross elements, right? I feel that they should release it because like Gen 1, Gen 2, right, they do release all the final stage of Pokemon and if they don't release it, for me personally, I would never be able to fill up my Pokedex. Let me explain why. So, uh, hold on, let, let, let's check this Swablu first. Okay, it's not shiny. So let me show you guys something, right? If you notice here, right, my Corfish, I already have 44 candies, right? But I will never evolve my Corfish to a Cro Cro Crowdon? Crowdon? Is that how you pronounce it? I will never evolve that because for me, how I play Pokemon Go, right, is that I will catch every single Pokemon in the wild as Pokedex entries. So, a very good example is this. So, let me show you my Pokedex. Right now, if you look at the Hoenn region, right, I actually have enough candies to evolve my Trico, Torchic, and my Mudkip all the way to their final stage, but I am not. And if you look down here, right, you see, I have a Wurmple that I can evolve right now to Silcoon or Beautifly and Dustox, right? But I'm not doing so because they're not in the wild. So if you notice here, right, like Gardevoir and uh, Slacking and Explout. Yeah, so if you see, if I scroll down the Pokedex, right, a lot of the final stage Pokemon is not in my Pokedex because it's not in the wild. And that's the way I play it. Now, please leave a comment, right, if you actually play this kind of play the same way as I do because I don't know how many, how many people out there is actually doing the same thing where you catch Pokemon as Pokedex entries if only if they are in a wow. If not, you cannot evolve them. Or maybe that's just me. <laughs> but yeah, uh, like you see, I have Feebas, I already have enough candies. Um, Alright, so see here, I have a 96% Trico, right? 220 candies. Uh, I have a 98% Torchic with 423 candies. Oh, I don't have a very good uh, IV mud kit, that's why I never, I don't have it here. And Wurmple, I have like 356 candies, and I have 100% Low Tad with 60 candies. Okay, that one I cannot evolve. That one's my fault. Routes, I have enough candy to evolve to a Gardevoir. You, you get the idea, right? Um, but yeah. So for Corfish, I may catch all the Corfish here, but I will never be able to evolve them to a Crowdon because. I don't think it's in the wild. Wait, it is in the wild. I just can't find it yet. That's basically it. So let me know if you guys, if any of you guys are actually playing the same way I do, where you guys catch uh, new Pokemon as Pokedex entries and not evolving them as Pokedex entries. Because I think that's more fun because the title of Pokemon is Gotta Catch Em All, right? So that's me doing it. Gotta Catch Em All. So if Niantic never released the Gen 3 final stage Pokemon, I don't think I'll ever fill up my Pokedex the way I do for Gen 1 and Gen 2, but we'll see, we'll see. I do evolve Pokemons that requires Evolution Stone. That one, there's no choice, right? You cannot find them in a while, so I do evolve them that way. <laughs> I guess we just have to wait for another uh, wave of Gen 3 Pokemon to release the last batch, and then I think the final Evolution Pokemon will come out. Are you hungry? Yeah. All right, let's go eat. After a nice ramen, it's time to break. We have a uh, Rayquaza here. Rayquaza, Rayquaza, I don't know. I need to put my camera down first. Look at this gate. It's so small. 
Okay, so we are going to fight uh, Rayquaza, Rayquaza in about two and a half minutes. And there's actually another one, as you can see, a little bit behind, 22 minutes. I don't think there's any more people in here because how raid works now is that within the five minutes when the egg hatch, after that, usually nobody comes anymore. That's the case here. It's quite noisy. Okay, we have about 20 people and the guy stopped cutting stuff. But if he cuts during the battle, I'm just gonna mute out the whole entire fighting scene. Yeah. Okay, it's down. What do we have? Do we have? What do we have? Oh my god, my CP is so low. 2010? What? Okay, let's try to do uh, AR plus mode because I have not tried it yet so far. Oh, oh yeah, look at that bad boy. Okay, you guys saw, right? It kept attacking non-stop. Weird as shit, man. I think the AR Plus has some kind of bug. So we're gonna try to catch it like this with four balls. I don't really care at this point, you know? Excellent, come on. First shake and then I'll catch it. One shake. Oh. Okay, while we're walking to um, the chocolate place, because, you know, today's a Sunday. Because now it's the, um, how you say, the 10km dragon event where you walk enough 10 km eggs you're gonna hatch a lot of beldum and whatnot you know sorry windy not dragon what i'm talking about windy pokemons you know so so right now <clears throat> we have about one two three four five no sorry four yeah four 10 km eggs that we're gonna hatch by the end of this episode <sighs> i'll let you guys know once we're hatching so hopefully one of them is a beldum one of them is a bag on and i really need a hundred percent one she doesn't know what I need. I know that gun is the curly hair Charmander. Curly hair Charmander, that's correct. Bag on equals curly hair Charmander. Check out that episode. It's cool. Okay, we are finally hatching our 10km eggs. First one. Give me Beldum. Mary? What? <sighs> well, I guess I can hatch an Emperor. Uh, I can evolve an Emperor. If you guys haven't seen my Emperor's catch at Disneyland, check out this video. It's amazing. Alright, next one. Next 10km egg. Mary, forget what? I thought this is supposed to give me Beldum. Okay, what's going on Niantic, all right? Okay, I have 4% battery left. Two more eggs to go. Come on. Don't give me an Mary, but I swear to God. Larvitar. Oh my God. Okay. Is it even a perfect Larvitar? It's certainly, no it's not. Niantic, please. Aerodactyl. <laughs> okay. That's it. I have not hatched a Beldum or a Bagon yet. See you next time. Bye bye.